Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm bringing you a really powerful Age of Empires 4 build order for the Chinese and this build order is for the Chinese Tower Rush. I recently released a video of me using this strategy to show how strong it is during a 1v1 multiplayer game during the testing process of the build. If you want to see this, there's an end card at the end of the video that will take you straight to it, so do click onto that. So the main aim of this build is to hit feudal age at around 4 minutes and 30 seconds and by this time you should also be able to place your first outpost. I usually recommend the enemy gold being the first target but wood would also be a good resource to deny especially in order to slow down any ram counters that will need to be used against this strategy the aim of this build order is to surround the enemy base with outposts that have hand cannon emplacements so why are hand cannon emplacements so strong the chinese replace the aristlitz emplacements with hand cannons these have a range of eight and cause 25 damage compared to the aristlitz emplacements that cause 10 damage also the chinese faster building time really helps smash up a lot of outpost very very quickly. Your goal is to slow down your enemy by denying resources, picking off villages and cause a lot of idle economy time. If the enemy resides then this is a huge bonus but the main aim is to slow down your enemy and gain an advantage yourself as your own economy will be left untouched. You will generally want to build your towers within range of each other for extra protection for when you're building the new tower otherwise it could be quite easy to pick off your villagers. Soon enough you'll be able to add a forward military building in order to make an army and destroy any rams or troops that come your way. If you send an imperial officer forward they can supervise your military buildings and troops will produce 200% faster. It will take just 5 seconds to make spearmen and archers instead of 15 seconds and horsemen will train in just 7 seconds rather than 22. So after testing this build 7 or 8 times in 1v1 multiplayer I found that the Abbasids are quite a tricky civilization to play against due to their bonus for creating rams so quickly. So denying wood is a great idea in order to delay their ram push. There's also the English, they're the only civ that I've lost against so far and they're a very hard sieve to beat with this strategy due to their villagers having bows and being able to easily attack your own villagers whilst they're building. The same applies to the longbowmen which with their extra range compared to normal archers makes it much easier for them to manoeuvre and pick off your villagers despite your towers outranging them by one tile. The mongols are also quite a tricky sieve to play against as they can easily just pack up the buildings and move to a new location but the good thing about that is that you're causing delays to their economy and perhaps even villager production if they decide to move the town centre. If they do move just keep placing that post on resources to deny them from the enemy and just keep pushing forward. Mass scouts are also a good counter to this strategy but just add the fortified outpost technology to each outpost in order to gain a thousand health and plus five firearm. This should stop the scouts tearing them down. So before we dive into the build order guide itself, if you've enjoyed the video so far please hit the like button. So let's dive in. Okay so your six starting villages go onto the sheep and then one more villager will come out onto the sheep. Your next three villages will be going over to the wood. You'll build a lumber camp with the first villager, a house with the second and the final one will just go over to the wood on their own. Following on from that we're going to send three villagers over to the gold along with the mining camp there. And once we have the three on gold we're going to send two more villagers over to the wood line to give us a total of five villagers on wood and that will just help us get that wood economy up so that we can build the towers. So at around three minutes you'll take three villagers off of food, they'll go and make the barbican of the sun. All five of your wood villagers are going to go forward towards the enemy base and we're going to take two villagers off of gold and send them over to stone. Now the villagers who are building the landmark, one will go to stone and the other two will go back to food. And whilst that's happening, we're gonna send another six villagers over to wood. So we need to replenish that wood line with villagers. And then you'll find at around four and a half minutes, you should be down at your enemy base with those five villagers placing your very first outpost. Ideally, placing it on the gold mine or a wood line, depending on who you're playing against. You should then be able to start adding the hand cannon emplacements to the outposts and just keep adding more and more towers, trying to deny resources and picking off villagers. Then any new villagers from that point will just go over to food. Yes, yeah, so that's the actual build order. I hope you had your pen and paper ready to record that. So you might be wondering why I've not used the Imperial Officer to gather gold from resource buildings and gone for a berry start. Well, a few reasons. This strategy is all about speed. The gather rate from berries is quite a bit slower than sheep, which means your food income is reduced. You'll have also have spent 150 food on the Imperial Officer, which you've then got to try and make back. And not only that, the amount of actual gold that's been collected in those resource drop-off buildings is actually quite small, so it takes quite a while to actually get that extra 100 gold. So for this build, with it being all about speed really not worth having the imperial officer for tax collection early on and as you've already seen i do tend to prefer to use the imperial officer for spamming out units a little bit later on to help you get an army and support your tower rush 
But that's it for this one, guys. Do remember to like and subscribe for more Age of Empires 4 build orders. I'll see you on the next one.